The vast landscape of Tarkov houses a large diversity of creatures, some weak, some strong, and all simply trying to survive in the harsh and unforgiving landscape. Yet since nearly the beginning, there has been one species that has ruled over the rest. Come along with me as we explore these creatures' rise to dominance over the entirety of the Tarkov province. The life of a Tarkov geographic cameraman is one filled with adrenaline-pumping moments of terror and long periods of waiting. Our teams often remain motionless for days simply for the opportunity to document Tarkov's most elusive creatures. In these moments of boredom, we are grateful for today's sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. Boasting solid 3D graphics and massive amounts of content, Raid provides an epic gaming experience on the palm of your hand. One of my favorite aspects of the game are the dungeon raids, pitting your team against tough bosses like Malak Kavar of the Void Keep. When you are prepared, this guardian offers great rewards, however he will punish those who attack carelessly. Another of my favorite elements is the PvP arena, which allows you to duke it out with other players' champions. Throughout the month of October, there will be non-stop events, tournaments, and updates, making it an ideal time to start playing. By using the link in the description or by scanning the QR code, new players will get a massive head start, with 200,000 silver, an XP boost, an ancient shard, and the epic champion Shinoru. You won't have to look hard for this treasure, as it can all be found right here for the next 30 days. Download this game and you'll never again find yourself bored whilst waiting in Tarkov or anywhere else. The AR-15 user has debatably the strongest beginnings among all the creatures of Tarkov. The ADAR 2-15 provides decent protection at both short and medium ranges. Though the M855 bullet is not ideal, it is capable of piercing up to tier 3 armors with relative ease. Against weaker PMCs and scavs, the ADAR provides adequate protection. However, against larger groups or geared opponents, it is often outmatched. Upon reaching the second stage, the ADAR subspecies becomes much stronger. These individuals often bear high-end tier 3 or low-end tier 4 armors, enabling them to absorb most scav cartridges. In addition, a modded ADAR and the M856A1 ammo grants them the ability to combat even mid-tier PMCs. The usage of weapon attachments provides stronger long-range capabilities, allowing them to expand to other habitats such as the woods.
Despite their new strengths, the ADAR user is incredibly cautious. When given a choice, it is very picky about the individuals it will attempt to hunt. Should it run into prey it deems to be too difficult, the ADAR user will simply flee. On the other hand, the AR-15 user may begin to utilize a poorly modded M4A1. Perhaps one of the most common breeds of AR-15, the M4 user yields certain advantages over the ADAR subspecies, most notably a fully automatic receiver. This theoretically provides the creatures with greater close range capabilities. However, their weapons are not as modded, making them less controllable. This, coupled with a full auto firing mode, makes these creatures less accurate at all ranges. They may kill up to mid-tier individuals, however they are slightly weaker than their ADAR counterparts at this stage. The third stage marks the end of most ADAR users and the rise of the M4 users. It is when the M4 user adapts high-end tier 4 armors, modifications on their weapons, and the M855A1 bullet. These adaptations make them incredibly potent killing machines. However, they remain in this state for an extremely brief amount of time. Due to the shortness of this period, it is hotly debated as to whether this can truly be considered a stage in the evolution of the AR user. So far, it is concluded that this interval functions as a gateway to the Chad stage for these creatures. The Chad stage of the AR-15 user is incredibly complex as there are many different Chad subspecies. Though some may appear to be entirely different organisms, extensive examination has revealed that they are all relatives. Much like the echidna and the platypus, they may seem like separate creatures, but they bear a similar ancestry. The first of the Chad species is the M4 Chad. The most significant additions to the M4 user are the usage of 60 round magazines and tier 5 armor. Better weapon mods further increase these creatures versatility at all ranges. However, many will be specialized for a specific task. Most will have small sights that provide adequate precision at close range.
These individuals tend to be extremely aggressive and charge at their prey with reckless abandon. On the other hand, they may adapt a magnifying optic, or even a scope. These individuals are certainly capable of killing at close range, however, they often watch over large areas, waiting for any prey to stumble by. Closely following the M4 Chad is the HK416 Chad. Arguably some of the most powerful Chads in Tarkov, these creatures bear many similarities to the M4 Chad. Their weapons tend to be modded in a very similar manner. However, the higher rate of fire and employment of M995 results in these creatures being even more aggressive. Their raw killing potential results in them being nigh invincible to low end opponents and a grave threat to all other creatures. With these traits, it is not surprising that many seem to hunt for sport rather than for sustenance. The TX-15 Chad behaves very differently from its HK and M4 relatives. Instead, this creature behaves much more akin to an SR-25 Chad, as it much prefers to remain far from its targets. Through high magnification scopes, this hunter spots its prey. M995 rips swiftly through the once still air, and another creature falls victim to this eagle-eyed sharpshooter. They are never found without a suppressor and remain in cover near large open areas, often camouflaged within the dense flora. Despite their gravity towards sniping, again, like the SR-25 user, they are not defenseless at close range. Their low recoil weapons and additional sights result in them remaining a decent threat at short distances.
The polar opposite of the TX-15 Chad is the MCX Chad. Though it lacks any similarities in appearances, scientists believe it evolved from a common ancestor of the M4 Chad. Due to slower ammunition, the MCX Chad behaves more aggressively than even the HK populations. Though slower, the MO hits harder than its 556 counterparts, ripping into prey with much more force. As a result of this, these individuals can be found in dense areas, often the buildings of customs or the winding machinery of factory. Though these aggressive instincts may land them into problematic situations, they tend to work out more often than not. The final and most recent addition to the AR-15 Chad populations is the Mark 47 user. These creatures have only recently evolved in the Tarkov region, and have already become a dominant subspecies. This sudden and explosive rise to power speaks volumes about their capabilities. Bizarrely, these creatures have adopted the appearance of an AR-15, but utilize the 762 round most commonly found in the AK species. With the hard-hitting but slower BP round, these creatures are able to tyrannize short to medium ranges. but are less potent than their relatives at long distances. The AR-15 users are an incredibly common species within the Tarkov province, and for good reasons. Due to their strengths, AR-15 users make up a majority of the present Chad populations. Their versatility in nearly every situation has paved the way to their successes. Though they sometimes fade in prevalence, it is projected that the AR-15 users will never be toppled from the apex of Tarkov's food chain.